Assalamu alaikum. How are you all? I hope you must be having a great time. Now, today I am going to start my lecture with the concept of linguistics. As the term is quite visible on the whiteboard, so my aim today in this lecture is to elaborate the concepts of linguistics in general with regard to its sub branches. First and foremost, there must be a proper understanding that how linguistics operate. But before that, we must define this term linguistics. Linguistics is actually the study of language. Rather, I can make it more precise by stating it in this manner that it is actually the scientific study of language. Now, if you just look at this definition, the scientific study of language, what does it imply? What does it mean? It means that whatever, whatever we say, whatever we state, whatever we try to prove, there must be a scientific justification for it. Scientific justification means that whatever we may state in the area of linguistics, it must be proven scientifically, experimentally, unlike literature where we can say anything. For example, in the poem of Daffodils, there is a line that he counted 10,000 flowers at a glance. But in linguistics, this might be questioned that how for a human being it became possible to count 10,000 flowers at a glance. So it is not something that can be proved experimentally and scientifically. So if we just draw a comparison between linguistics and literature, in linguistics the ideas are always precise you need to prove them with experiments even the hypotheses that one state in linguistics must be proven later on subsequently because one if one fails to prove them the hypotheses then the ideas that we may have floated might not stand anywhere so that's the primary concern of linguistics the approach of linguistics is quite different from literature now the purpose and the aim of today's lecture is to study linguistics with regard to its sub branches so let's start our lecture as we have already defined the concept of linguistics that it is actually the scientific study of language so we would start with its branches then we would move towards its different areas one by one in the other lectures so today my purpose is to elaborate the various sub disciplines of linguistics the very first Subdiscipline discipline of linguistics is phonetics and phonology. Now, what do we actually study in phonetics and phonology? In phonetics and phonology, our primary concern revolves around this concept of sounds and if we just make it more precise specific we can call them phonemes now what are sounds by sounds we mean speech sounds all these terms sounds names and speech sounds they are synonymous and can be used interchangeably so if a student of linguistics encounters 
these terms interchangeably within a text or somewhere in the lecture he must not get confused rather he should have a clarity about these terminologies that by sounds we mean speech sounds or phonemes so what are those sounds these sounds are actually minimal distinct units minimal distinct units means that every phoneme is different from the other phoneme every speech sound is different from the other speech sound this is how these speech sounds operate but the most important and prominent aspect of these phonemes and speech sounds is that they function contrastively now what does it mean that they function contrastively it means that if a phoneme is replaced in any of the words then the meaning would also be changed how let me demonstrate it with the help of an example number one for example let me write a word big in big we have initial sound b in wig we have initial sound v now if you look at these two words both the words have the same form except for one difference and that is of b and v at the initial positions on account of this difference of one individual phoneme the meaning has been altered it has been changed now this particular area phonetics and phonology what does it mean in phonetics we actually study about the speech sounds and their characteristics it means that every phoneme speech sound has a particular dimension it has certain features and on the basis of these features these phonemes are classified in terms of place and manner of articulation now what do we actually have in this area we have actually sounds rather i would say phonemes now how these phonemes are classified let me explain this concept with the help of a diagram <clears throat> we have a concept in phonetics and phonology and that is a phoneme now this particular phoneme is further sub classified or classified in terms of different speech sounds one consonants <clears throat> the second vowels vowels consonants and vowels then within a vowels there is a sub classification now what is that sub classification if you can see we have monophthong diphthong triphthong i am not going to elaborate the concept of monophthong diphthong and triphthong today today my purpose and aim is just to give you an idea that what are the sub branches of linguistics 
later i would be elaborating each and every chapter one by one via my youtube sessions now but today you just need to understand that what do we actually have in phonetics and phonology we have a concept of phoneme and this revolves around certain classifications one classification is consonant the other is vowels within a vowels we have then sub classifications in the form of monophthong diphthong and triphthong now after phonetics and phonology we would switch our discussion to the next branch that is morphology that's yet another discipline of linguistics in which we study the concept of forms sometimes we mistakenly assume that morphology is actually the study of words although one cannot deny that this particular area of linguistics also encompasses the aspect of words but it's not just word that can be covered in morphology rather there are certain other morphemes certain other forms that should also be elaborated in this area so morphology is actually the study of forms that how do we study these forms in morphology the basic concept that we have just like in phonetics and phonology we had phonemes over here we have the concept of a morpheme now what is a morpheme morpheme is actually the minimal unit of meaning and grammatical function now let me first write this definition and then explain it in the light of an example now this is the proper definition of a morpheme <clears throat> the minimal unit of meaning and grammatical function now i have to explain this definition with regard to an example with the help of an example for example we studied that morphology is the study of forms it is the study of forms now what do we actually mean by this we have an example let's say two wrists if you look at this two wrists what is the definition the definition is the minimal unit of meaning and grammatical function the definition is this now how many morphemes one can identify in this example two wrists we have one example to a one two three we have three morphemes in this particular word to rest now look at the definition the minimal unit of meaning the minimal unit of meaning is to a the second minimal unit of meaning is i s t it indicates the one who performs the action of touring this is another minimal unit of meaning look at the term minimal unit of meaning and grammatical function now what is the grammatical function the grammatical function is fulfilled by this s it indicates what it indicates plus plurality plurality means that more than one two rest so this is how one can identify the concept of morphemes one form another form another form so three forms 
one minimal unit of meaning another minimal unit of meaning and the unit of grammatical function so this is how one has to identify the concept of morphology i would be getting into the detail later on when i would be covering each and every part and discipline sub discipline of linguistics but just for a moment one needs to understand that what do we actually have in morphology so this was about the concept of morphology in the next session i would be touching upon the other sub disciplines of linguistics and after finishing those sub disciplines definitions and brief explanations i would start the lectures on language and from language till the end of linguistics branches so till then i would urge you all to stay updated and do consult my lectures in order to understand the concept of linguistics in a proper manner thank you very much for your time god bless you